We are but a droplet in the river of life. The universe carries us relentlessly over the thunderous precipice of the devil's throat. Perhaps it is our journey to trust in the tumultuous Seguazu fall of life and reap the tranquility of the Iguazu and Purana union downstream. Allow yourself to fall. Namaste. That's what I wrote today after watching some of my footage. I came to the Iguazu Falls because I wanted to see something. I wanted to see a vision, a delight for my eyes. Something sensually satisfying for my sight. And what I received was so I had all my senses affected. Every sense was affected. My life will never be the same again. I want to share with you my experience of the Aguazi Falls. I wondered so often whether I should make the effort to come here. I wondered what a mother should do, a mother of four. I wondered what role it was right to play for me as a mother of four. Yet I felt with every cell of my being I felt drawn to this place. I heard the sounds, I felt the profound power of the water and I heard it calling to me. I resisted, I resisted because I'm a mother, I have responsibilities, I had friends and colleagues tell me not to do it. And yet I kept hearing the water calling me. I heard, I heard the thunderous, powerful roar of the water. Do you know what's really amazing about the roar of a waterfall? Listen. Listen to the sounds of the water falling. Listen to the sounds of the water falling. Can you hear it? Can you hear it yourself? If you listen, you can hear a loud roar. And if you Somehow, there is a calm in the white noise of the roar. And somehow the roar provokes a sense of complete spiritual quiet. Letting go of the fear of letting go, and then one.
eventually you reach the calm down the stream. Here we have the powerful Iguazu and downstream we have the meeting of the Iguazu. Last night I looked out from a balcony and I watched the banks of the Paraguay and I looked down to the flow of the Parana River and the Iguazu River and I looked up at the moon, the beautiful moon and as mist, a gentle mist descended, almost like a blanket on top of us. It was a moment beyond definition, a moment worth all the judgment, all the lack of certainty. I knew my decision to come here was life changing and I knew that I would never be the same again. I will never be the same again because I chose not to listen to judgment and I chose to follow my dream. I will return a better mother and a calmer person with so much greater clarity. I love the Iguazu, I love the moon, the meeting of the rivers, the powerful fall of water. It is like the water is calling out to us, saying, let go, let go, let go, let go. Can you hear it call out? If you sit really still and quiet, you can hear it. And the more quiet you grow, the more the river, the waterfall, nature calls out. And it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And suddenly everything makes sense. And I know when I return, that I would think of the waterfall and let it go. I would think about the power of the tumultuous, thunderous water. And I would know my direction. Oh, that moon. When I first journeyed out to the Iguazu Falls on the Eco Train, and I watched the jungle. I feel such a rising sense of anticipation, so much excitement, and then I walked the one kilometer to the devil's throat, and it was raining, it was raining. As I reached the lookout where I could see the waterfall, the rain was coming down in torrents and people were starting to turn back. And I allowed myself to get completely wet. And I looked out at the water. And with the rain, the water rose up almost as if it was reaching out its arms to meet the rain and the rain was reaching down to the waterfall and I felt it was almost as if you could not tell where the rising of the waterfall stopped and the rain started 
It was like the arms of the waterfall and the rain met and held hands. And I had the privilege of witnessing this in the rain. Rain on top of my head and face and clothes and shoes. And I stood there and I thought, everything is worth it for this moment. Everything is worth it for this moment. Ah, it was wonderful. I cannot say words or express with the tone of my voice how beautiful those waterfalls were. It was like coming home. And it was as if they spoke. All that matters is the meeting of the rain, the sky. And the rivers below. Life is about the river extending its hand up above. And the heavens reaching down below and hands being held in stillness. Everything comes back to God and nature. Listen now to the water. Listen now to the water. Listen to what it says to you. Open your eyes. Mm-hmm.